So Bungie made news the other day. Uh, it might have been, you know, because of Sony. Why again? It's strictly all Bungie. 100 plus people got laid off. Um, people that we knew within the community that had a good following. People that spoke up supposedly from what's being leaked from private DMs, even though in the DM it says don't leak this or talk about this or say that I said anything. One of them being something that was sent from Hippie talking about they've mentioned to upper management to listen to the community. And obviously Bungie kind of does, kind of doesn't. They do what they want to do. At the end of the day, there are the studio who make the game. Yes, as content creators, end game players, and so on and so forth, we can preach and, you know, yell till our faces blue on what we think should be changed, added, blah, blah, blah. However, when you add the Steam numbers, or when you add PS, and when you add Xbox together, there is about 500 to 600,000 active gamers on this game. We are such a small percent of what we feel the game should be and realistically Bungie has the data they know that what we say really ain't gonna fucking help the game at the end of the day a lot of us want the game harder but for that you know 500,000 600,000 that's not how it should be we know a lot of people don't know how to do raids don't run raids don't run dungeons some of them don't even know or I can't say some of them most of them don't even know what a twab or a twit is some of them don't use fucking Twitter. Some of them don't follow content creators, you know? So they know, they have the data, they see what is realistic for the game, which is why D2 has gone the way it's gone. Yes, they project, Bungie as a whole project, oh, you know, we're gonna, they estimate they're gonna get so much in sales, but realistically, it's a little bit less than that or 20% less than that or whatever because you know sometimes we obviously will set higher expectations and what is realistic right so it, it is what it is at the end of the day I think the content creators that are doing this creator fucking summit is a stupid fucking idea from above Wanting to get all these content creators together and the community feedback from the people that follow the content creators that have the same fucking thought as the content creators, which is such a small amount of players. Again, it's going to do nothing. You guys getting all together, making a fucking video, trying to milk this and, and get this community sensitive, which is such a fucking small amount. Because again, you're following like you guys don't have... So many fucking people watching your video and fucking agree with some of your statements. You know, again, we, we you guys know as, as players and content creators, if you do all this endgame stuff, most players don't do this. So this creator sum is, a, is stupid, I think. And then this whole let's let's defund Bungie. Let's cancel our pre-orders and so on and so forth. Canceling your pre-orders is going to do one thing, right? Obviously, they know now from all this shit going on, the final shape sales and pre-orders are going to drop now, right? What's going to happen is, let's say 500,000 people cancel their pre-orders, which is basically the whole player base, active daily users or gamers. Let's say they all cancel their pre-order. What's that going to do? That's just going to hurt Bungie. Come June, or even maybe before June, the good people, the good devs, the good fucking employees that are left at Bungie are probably going to get laid off. There's going to be a second round because the game is obviously going to massively underperform. And all we've done as a community is kill the game and cause more layoffs to the friends and family of the ones who got laid off at Bungie. The whole sentiment of cancel these priorities because you're pissed off at Bungie ain't gonna fucking work. Yes, some of us might not want to support Bungie and think this is the way to do it. It is not the way to do it. This ain't gonna do anything, you know? Doing a community blackout, maybe quit playing the game for a couple weeks, that's gonna hurt their numbers. But again, it's, it's not gonna do anything. 
we're not going to hurt the higher ups pockets. Fuck, it came out that Pete makes 600,000 plus a year. Us canceling, stopping the Eververse buying and all this stuff is not going to hurt them. It's not going to hurt upper management in any way. All we're going to do is we're going to hurt the current employees that are working there because another round of layoffs is going to happen and the CEO is still going to be the CEO. Maybe we need to do a change petition. Maybe everybody needs to fucking rally and hit up Sony and tell Sony they need to fucking remove him because he's killing the game. There needs to be and there has to be some other way to do this besides... You know, this whole defund and community creator summits that ain't going to do a fucking thing. You know, and again, we don't know. We don't fully we fully don't know what what has truly been said by Pete. He made a tweet the other day about people, the employees that got let go were good people. But then we heard from a rumor from some ex-employee that supposedly said something to Bloomberg that he had said to people that are left are the reason they didn't get you know laid off or fired is because they're the ones that can make destiny good so again who knows how true this shit is it's just it's crazy what's going on crazy man I want to be the greatest everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient hoping one day I blow 